just did like a cheerleading move. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily. If you're not, thanks for tuning in again. Today we're going for another five Friday and I want to let you in on some of my favorite drugstore products. So if you wanna see what they are, then keep on watching. Okay, so first up is a product I've been wanting to try for a minute, and they are the lipsticks from Flower Beauty. This is Drew Barrymore's makeup line, and these lipsticks are wonderful, and they're comfortable mattes. They're really great in texture and color. I'm wearing them right now. I mixed the shades Naked Blush and Bare Pout because I love me a nude lipstick, and this packaging is pretty cute. It's gold and white, and you can find these at Walmart. I got these for $5.88 each, and I'm really enjoying them. I will say you need to exfoliate your lips before you put them on, but that's just because it's a matte lipstick, and any matte lipstick, you should do that. But I'm enjoying them. They're beautiful. They last forever, and for $5, that's amazing. Next, I wanna talk about my new favorite mascara. It was previously the cult classic of L'Oreal Voluminous. I think this is fairly new to L'Oreal's line, but it's the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I love this because the packaging is adorable, and if you put adorable packaging on anything, I'm going to buy it. But also, the brush is very fluffy. It just gives a really nice look to your lashes. I've been really enjoying this. And I also have a product that I wanna compare this to. So maybe I'll do a little dupe test on a product I'm thinking about. Next, if you watched my last video, you will know that I fell in love with the Wet n Wild makeup stick. I duped it to Rihanna's Fenty Beauty match stick and I think it's just a gorgeous color, a gorgeous shade, nice texture. It's dewy, it's sparkly, it's $3.99 and you can't beat it. Next, I wanna go in for some drugstore brushes. I am loving these brushes from Real Techniques. I've had them in my kit since Real Techniques launched this line. I followed the founders channel, Sam and Nick, uh, before they even had this line. So when they launched it, I was like a diehard fan already and totally ready to just go and buy it. But these brushes perform really lovely i mean this one i bought because again the packaging is amazing i think this could be a good contour brush uh, for a cream contour it's very dense but i love this brush here for just setting powder under the eye this is kind of a good all over powder brush this is a nice concealer brush so these are pretty affordable they also have a beauty sponge that's akin to the beauty blender which i definitely like i still prefer the beauty blender but it's five dollars compared to beauty blenders 20 and it's a pretty good dupe for that so check them out i really love their products and um, they keep coming out with all these new brushes and stuff so check out real techniques and lastly i want to talk about these milani baked blushes this line is taking off they've been around for a while but they have so many good products their conceal and perfect foundation is said to be amazing i haven't tried it yet but if you're looking for more of a full coverage foundation check that out because I've heard nothing but amazing reviews on it. I love this blush. It's the shade Berry Amour. And it's just this really warm kind of subtle, I can't really, it's a very subtle shade. It kind of reminds me of Max Warm Soul. And it's just very kind of not too much, although I just put that on with my finger, which is a bad idea. It's just a really nice kind of subtle peachy pinky shade. It's not too much. It just gives a really nice glow. It's got a nice sheen to it. And I really love this color. The other one is Coralina. And it's more of a nice bright coral color. Really beautiful probably for the summer. Again, they just have this really nice sheen to them. And they look very high end. And I love keeping them in my kit. 
all of these products I actually have in my professional kit as well as my personal collection. So that just goes to show how much I really like them and stand by them. I hope this video was helpful and if you're on more of a budget, I hope you're able to go and check out some of these items and add them to your collection. And if you have any of them, let me know in the comments below which ones are your favorite. If you have some other favorite drugstore products for me to check out, I would love to know. I really love finding a great drugstore product. So let me know in the comments below. And next Friday, maybe a hit or miss, I'm gonna be on a plane to Korea, so we'll see. But I hope you'll check out some of my other videos and I'm hoping to put out some content while I'm in Korea to kind of let you guys know how it's going and give you some behind the scenes. So keep checking in and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.